Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. Who do I have on the line? You have Damon John here. Well, Damon John, thank you so much for joining me in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beefy Show. Oh, well, thank you. And we have our other guys here, Stephen and Cameron. How you well, doing? Thank How you doing? Well, hi, Stephen and Cameron. Yeah, glad to be here. Well, great. I heard you guys are going to be the next big thing. <laughs> <laughs> we are. That's the goal. <laughs> I know. I want to let my listening audience that I'm speaking know that I'm speaking with Damon Johns. He's from Shark Tank, and he brought friends today, Stephen and Cameron, and they're going to talk about how they're going to be the next big thing. Damon, you are so busy. I am. <laughs> but we like it because you're positive busy. Tell us what you're doing with uh, Miller Lite. Well, I'm part of Miller Lite's Tap the Future competition, and this is the third year I've been part of it as one of the judges. And I get to look at great companies uh, pitch themselves to, uh, you know, a, a, a panel of judges, and hopefully we get to vote where they'll receive $200,000, uh, uh, you know, to their company. And this is not an investment in the form of they have to give up equity. This is purely Miller Lite sharing uh, you know, um, you know their resources with everyday entrepreneurs so that they can even become more successful, such as Stephen and Cameron. Okay, I'll talk to Stephen and Cameron in just a moment, but how are you finding these people to win? Well, they're logging on to Miller, uh, to MLTapTheFuture.com, and they are uh, applying in that sense, and we're going to hit six cities in the in the month of July, and everybody must apply by April 10th, and that's how we're finding them. And they're just going out there and, and really getting their pitches ready and, and pitching their hearts away. I know you're coming to Dallas because Dallas is a big money city. Yeah, I love Dallas. Um, obviously, uh, I'd rather not go there when Mark Cuban is there, but other than that, <laughs> I love Dallas, and, and the people there are amazing, and we've had a, we've had a great time every year that we've been there. Well, Dallas is a great place to come. Even being here with Mark is a great opportunity. You know you spend most of your time with him. I if do, you I don't do. if you don't mind, I'd like to ask Stephen and Cameron. You guys are twenty fourteen winners. That's right. Yep. All right then. So what'd you do with all that money? Well, uh pretty much went into payroll. <laughs> <laughs> nothing uh nothing too exciting. It uh certainly helped though. Okay, you guys started a moving company, Bell Hops? We did. Um so Bellhops is a, is a tech platform kind of similar to Uber in that uh, you, you're able to book online super easy or through our app. Um, but it's built for the majority of Americans who don't have a realistic solution to moving needs. So it's either like friends and family to help or you're going to a professional moving company. It's too expensive, too much of a hassle. Uh, Bellhops is just a super easy way to get local college kids uh, in your city to come and do all the grunt work for you. Whose idea was this? This is yours and Cameron's both, or one is the ideas person and one is the management? No, so me and Cameron came up you know, with this collectively. Uh, we were those, those kids in college together, and um, we realized how big of an opportunity it was. And then once we did some research and uh, found out that 38 million Americans move themselves every year without hiring a moving company, we, you know, we thought it was a, a good fit, so we ran with it. All right. So where do you run from here now that you've got $200,000 in seed money? <laughs> uh, so, you know, like Cameron said, it's investing in people. You know, we, we have software engineers, customer service reps, uh, marketing team. So, it, you know, just building the team, um, investing in our people and, you know, just growing to every city in the country is, is the goal. Well, you guys are real bosses. I like that. Thank you so much. I'll go back to Damon. Okay. Damon, this is so similar to Shark Tank. Do you get it mixed up? 
No, not at all. I mean, because the beauty and the difference is that, first of all, it's not my own money. It's uh, Miller Lite and, um, you know, the the competitors, when they win, they don't have to get give up any of their companies. So, uh, you know, it's not a negotiation at that point. I get to really have a clear mind and judge, uh, you know, the competitors on the value of their uh, idea and on how they presented it. So it's it's a little bit of the the stress is laid off of me. Damon, what have you learned? And the reason why I'm asking you that is because you are premier talent these days. You have a uh, multi-million dollar company. You know, what have you learned? Well, you know, I learned, obviously, I learned from a lot of the great entrepreneurs, such as uh, Stephen and Cameron, about, you know, this new world of technology. Uh, you know, um, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And if you look at uh, one of the companies that won the competition, uh, Swift Media, they just uh, sold the company for $27 million, and they're a technology-based company. So I'm learning uh, new forms of doing business. I also pick up when uh, the guys are, are pitching. I pick up some good ideas. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, they're actually smarter than me, and they can mentor me. I mean, I'm, my phone's always there for the winner, but generally the winner or, or the winners are really seasoned uh, guys and girls in pitching, and uh, they don't need me as much as they think they do. I'll wrap up with this final question because uh, my audience would be remiss if I did not ask you, give me some inspiration for all my business listeners. Uh, you know, I think that all the business listeners have to just go back to really what has made them successful. They generally uh, have taken affordable next steps. So in the event that you do not, uh, you know, you're not successful, uh, you don't damage yourself for the rest of your life, so don't go bet the farm. And uh, generally, uh, every entrepreneur is absolutely obsessed and love what they do. And in the event that your report card doesn't come back at A because you didn't make a monetary pile of money, uh, you absolutely had a beautiful and great time going through the maze, you know. Um, so and those are the two things. Take affordable steps and absolutely be obsessed and love what you do. And if they want to participate in Tap the Future when you come to Dallas or any other city, how do they do it again? They go online and they go to mltapthefuture.com. They must apply by April 10th. We're going to go to six cities in July, and hopefully they will have a shot at winning $200,000. Damon John from Shark Tank, I really thank you for that advice. We will take it to heart. And Stephen and Cameron, I wish you the best that life has to offer. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Have a good one.